and the cold weather is coming. Is that true, Rebecca? It, it's really true. It's already starting to seep into the Cascades. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a cool one this weekend. We're going to get temperatures that, you know, our high temperatures, we have not been as cool as we're going to be since the end of May. <laughs> So yeah, so it'll be, it'll be a <laughs> little change. Yeah, about face, shall yeah. we say? <laughs> it's going to be fairly wet outside too as we make this transition. Sometimes we make these transitions to some colder air moving in, and it becomes very loud and stormy. And we could get some of that loud stormy action, especially in a convergence zone that would be setting up. We've been watching convergence zones throughout the morning, off and on in certain spots, especially up to the north sound. But this particular school net station is at Olympia and. I just wanted to show you how you had a lot of sun in Olympia, but now we've got some stormier clouds rolling in. Some rain is on the way, and you can see it falling in the background there. Current temperature for Olympia is 60 degrees. It's 58 degrees right now in Seattle and in Everett, and we've got a 55 degree temperature for Bellingham. Now on the Doppler radar, you can see how the rain showers have increased quite a bit. We've got a band of heavy showers kind of been sitting here between Bellingham and Mount Vernon much of our morning. That continues, but we're seeing a new band of moderate to heavy showers develop right along the northern tip of the Kitsap Peninsula and also some moderate showers working their way in towards Olympia there and also a little farther south for Chehalis. But zooming in to look at the ones up north, you could see that new development of very heavy shower. Could be some small hail inside this one as it's going to be tracking right across the south end of Whidbey and over into Everett. Again, this is probably a convergence zone. We're watching winds closely and another sign this is a convergence zone is because you can see areas of clearing over Olympia and Tacoma. That's to the south side of the convergence to the north side. There's a little spot of clearing between Everett and Seattle, and we've got another little spot of clearing north of Everett, north of that little convergence zone sitting up there. So we know this is going on, and we're seeing it on the computer models. we got a low pressure system that's going to be sliding down from British Columbia, and these rain showers are going to be wrapping around it, and they're going to get heavy at times, especially where the winds meet up and are strongest. But you can see the circulation of those showers moving out of the area overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll still have some lingering showers. So here's what we have now from Salties on Alki looking northward. Actually, this is really kind of looking off to the uh, east, northeast, and we're seeing blue skies up there. We're seeing the convergence zone much farther up to the north. Expect some rain showers to hit Seattle as we get into the four o'clock hour. Definitely. Yes, right during that evening commute. We're going to have those rain showers and then temperatures will be dropping down into that near that 50 degree mark tonight. Some spots much, much cooler. We'll look at that right now. Today afternoon is going to bring us increasing showers and increasing wind. The winds will come out of the southwest 15 to 25 miles an hour. Right now we're getting gusts anywhere from 24 miles an hour for Arlington to up to 30 miles an hour for Shelton. Now do expect some of the stronger south southwesterly winds to impact the south sound this afternoon and tonight. In the mountains we're waiting for the snow to arrive, but uh, Snoqualmie and Stevens look good now. But a whole different story when we go into what our watches and warnings are. We can see the winter weather advisory impacting the central Cascades where we're going to see a fair amount of snow starting to come down closer to the 5,000 foot level first this evening and then gradually dropping to 4,000 feet. The winter storm watch in place for the northeast Cascades where we could see up to a foot of snow in the mountains above 3,000 feet. That will include places around Winthrop, Twist, Mazama. You see accumulated snowfall by this evening at 6. Already Stevens Pass getting over an inch and a half of snow. And then we get into tomorrow the morning and into the evening hours. By Saturday evening we should have a little over 5 inches for Stevens Pass, but even Snoqualmie Pass Pass, maybe seeing a little bit of snow in the air and seeing it a little accumulations on the side of the road and up into the hills. So do know in the mountains showers are increasing today and the wintry driving is going to sharply make a turn for definite winter driving overnight into tomorrow. So right now 56 degrees for Seattle. Our forecast high is 59 for Seattle. Most of us in the mid to upper 50s for our daytime highs and you could see that cold air up in the uh, up in British Columbia that low pressure slight Sliding down over us, and that's why it's pulling in all this cold air. It's going to get super windy up around Bellingham, out of that Fraser River Valley. Those winds get very brisk. So tonight we've got heavy showers on the way, and our morning low temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. 
Oh boy, Steve, this is going to be uh, quite a few days here. You know, I'll be here tomorrow morning too, watching these showers and the mountain snow totals as we go to the uh, rest of our forecast. For Sunday, it still stays cloudy. Now, Saturday morning showers wrap up, but we do stay on the cloudier side with a chance of a shower through the afternoon. And we don't get sunny until we get to Monday, Tuesday. But boy, is it going to be brisk. Yeah, and for the Huskies game uh, tomorrow, it's going to be brisk as well. But the Seahawks, are, as you know, they're in Arizona. 